Hello, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm Stephanie, this is Nails by Sora. Um, for all intents and purposes, I am Sora. If you don't know, you should know that Sora is an amalgamation of my two cats' names, Zora and Soleil. So welcome if you haven't been here before. Thank you for joining us. Please hit that uh, like button and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're always notified when a new video drops. I am freezing my butt off. I am in Florida. It is Christmas Day and it is 42 degrees out. I am so, so unbelievably cold. Um, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about some New Year's ideas and I had, I've seen it before and I'm sure you have too. Other people have done um, um, designs of sparklers and fireworks and clinking champagne glasses so I figured I would join in on the fun. And uh, right now I'm just mixing up some glitter together. I forgot that I had all these loose glitters that I had purchased um, probably sometime over the summer. I probably have about um, 25 to 30 different loose glitters. So I wanted to create some sort of a mix that I could just paint on the nail. So I have my Lucite palette and um, I took some base coat and I'm just mixing together some silver holographic glitter with some rose gold to create a custom mix. And then I'm just going to take my round brush by Cocoist and paint it across the nail like you would any other um, gel polish. So I'm starting with a blue black background and I had so much trouble with curing these nails for some reason. I think it may have been because my lamp was charging at the time so maybe it wasn't at full power but one nail uh, cured perfectly and the other two wrinkled and I had to redo them. So this is just your friendly daily reminder that if you're using really dark opaque colors that you make sure that you cure your nails properly because any uncured gel on the nail could lead towards a possible allergy and you don't want that. I think I'm dealing with an um, allergy right now on my own nail so I will be temporarily switching back to dip liquids um, until I figure out what's going on but that is for another video. I wasn't quite sure really what I wanted to do for um, the third nail. I thought I might do five nails, but I ended up only doing three because I which was just a dearth of ideas at the moment. So I've been doing so many videos throughout the month of December that my, my brain ejected from my head and I had no idea what I wanted to do. So I started to do a design on top of the glitter and that was just ridiculous. It was too much going on. So I removed it and I ended up putting in a second coat of glitter, um, matte top coating it, which I didn't need to do because I ended up just buffing it and um, doing kind of like a black to clear ombre over top so that I could fade the glitter in. And I'll get into it later, you'll, um, you'll see me as I do it. But for right now, I did end up mixing a whole extra amount of glitter that I didn't need to. But as fortune would have it, I bought these empty gel polish bottles on Amazon. They just got delivered the other day. So I ended up just mixing some more extra, some extra, some more extra, some extra more. I have an extra bottle of gel base that I siphoned some off into the empty bottle and I mixed some more glitter into it to create my own custom color. And I think I'm just going to play around with making some custom glitter colors going forward. Um, yeah, so that's this nail. So I am using Sparkle & Co. Um, gel liquids for this 
um, for this design. And the reason is purely um, utilitarian, if that's the right word. Um, since I may be suffering a gel allergy, um, or I was trying to uh, prevent myself from possibly having gel allergies by using all um, HEMA free and um, 21 free products. But um, so that's Madame Glam. That's what I've been using for all of my videos. But I didn't want to waste that product on uh, nails that I wasn't going to be wearing. Uh, so I decided to switch to using um, products that I have that I don't want to use on my own hands. <coughs> Silly me, I seem to have a gel allergy anyway. Um, but I. I haven't really used Sparkle & Co gel liquids all that much, but having used um, other brands and specifically their uh, matte top coat, I can say without a shadow of a doubt that Madame Glam is far superior uh, to other brands that I have tried. Nothing against Sparkle & Co. I just find the Velvet Matte Top Coat by... Um, um, Madame Glam to be far and away above the other ones that I've tried and it um, like I used the matte top coat on this nail and the other nail with the champagne glasses and it just doesn't seem to really be all that matte it still has this weird sheen to the surface of it um, and texture that I don't really like so I may continue to use it I may not um, it fulfills the purpose that I need it to for these designs, but probably if I do end up using gel polishes in the future on myself, I probably will stick with um, Madame Glam for a multitude of reasons. But right now I'm going in and I'm drawing these sparklers, and they ended up looking more like fireworks, which I'm not mad about. It's New Year's uh, themed nail and sparklers or fireworks it's basically all the same stuff so i'm basically just putting a little bit of paint in the center and dragging outward in a circular fashion so that it kind of wisps off and becomes kind of like dry brush dragging so it ends up um looking kind of faded out and um kind of like milkweed if you're familiar with it uh, you know, those little weeds you pick up and you blow on it and it disperses all the fibers. So it's kind of similar to that. And then adding little starbursts out um, at along the edges. And so I started off with white and then I went in with gold and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of silver just to help um, give it a little bit more character.
So these glasses start looking at start out looking like something that they are not. Please be patient. They do end up being champagne glasses. But um, I did have quite a bit of trouble getting the glitter glitter in the bottom of the glass. Um, you will see, I actually cut out a lot of the footage because it just went on for something like 10, 15 minutes of trying to pick up the glitter from the palette and uh, drop it onto the nail just for the sake of the fact that it was stuck to the palette because it had such a uh, little amount of gel attached to it. So going forward, whenever I mix my own um, glitter polishes, I'll probably do so in some kind of a, a deeper, a small deep dish so that I can pick it up a little bit easy, more easily. Or I'll just, you know, take loose glitter versus anything that's already pre-mixed with gel. But I'm drawing, basically drawing the outline of the glasses and now I'm going to start dropping in those glitters in the bottle, bottom of the glass, kind of in a way to mimic bubbles. And I'm going to create, um, drop some on top of the nail above the glasses um, to kind of mimic popping bubbles and, you know, effervescence and all that jazz. So this is clear Belgian gel and it's put out by the company uh, D-Gel. It is a Korean brand and I absolutely love, love this brand and the product. It's in a pump container so you just push down on the top and it ejects uh, gel from that little hole in the center that you can see on top, uh, right above my hand. So I wanted to try to obviously make the glasses look more like glasses. So I'm just using some of the gel to build it out and give it that convex shine, um, cylindrical glass feel to it. I, if thinking about it in hindsight, I would have gone and matte coated the rest of the nail but I decided to keep it all shiny and I just, after I cured the base gel, since I had to go over anyway um, with a top coat, I went and just did a uh, no wipe top coat over the whole thing. And I think it uh, came out really well. I did put a little bit of, um, um, what do you call it? Gold gel paint in the background just to give it a little extra something because I thought it needed a little bit more to pop, uh, make, make the design pop. So um, that's what I did with that nail. And here I'm just buffing the glitter nail so that I can go in and get a smooth, uh, have a smooth surface to paint over top of it. 
Um, and you want to make sure you do that whenever you do a glitter nail or really any nail uh, that has an intricate design on it. You want to make sure that you put a layer of base gel on, buff it smooth, and then go in with another layer of either uh, base coat or go in and top coat it. For the overlay, all I did was I put a little bit of a transparent black um, on the free edge and then I used some gel base so I could thin it out and spread it up towards the cuticle edge to give it that nice faded ombre look. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope everybody's excited to celebrate the new year. Only the best for 2023, health, happiness, and safety above all else. If you have any comments or questions, please put it down in the comment section below. All information for products I used will be in the description box below. Please do give me a like and a subscribe. It really does help my channel out a lot. Um, helps me to keep giving you this content and to grow. And um, I just, I, I love it so much and I thank you so much. So I will see you in the next video.